dialogue between the pilot and the landing signal officer, or LSO, to perform the most demanding feat in aviation, landing on an aircraft carrier. The LSO will provide verbal directions while the pilot uses an arrangement of colored lights called the Fresnel Lens Optical Landing System to constantly gauge the approach. The display you are watching is a representation of the actual Fresnel lens system located on the platform beyond the fence. Staying on the correct glide slope is critical for landing on an aircraft carrier. The Fresnel lens uses a row of green datum lights to define the horizon. In the center, a column of amber lights shine, though only one light box called the meatball can be seen at a time depending on the pilot's viewing angle. If the aircraft is on glide slope, the pilot will see the meatball level with the datum lights. If the aircraft is slightly above glide slope, the meatball appears above the datum lights. Gently reducing engine power will bring the aircraft back into the right glide slope and the meatball will appear level with the datum lights. If the aircraft is well above glide slope, the meatball appears at the top of the column. Reducing engine power significantly will get the aircraft into the right glide slope. If the aircraft is below the optimum glide slope, the meatball will appear below the datum lights. Increasing engine power will bring the aircraft back onto glide slope. A dangerous situation occurs when the aircraft is well below the glide slope, setting up the aircraft for striking the rear of the ship or crashing into the water unless power is added. In this scenario, a red light will be seen. If the pilot does not immediately increase engine power to get back onto the glide slope, the LSO will press the pickle switch to activate the wave-off lights to direct the pilot to add power, level the wings, climb, and discontinue the approach. The pilot must then start the entire landing over again. Well, now you know how to land on the Midway. Are you ready to give it a try?